Ahoy! My name is Clara and I love naval history. Today we'll be talking about a Spanish ship of the line for months. This one is named Principe de Asturias. She was launched on January 28 of 1794 in Havana, Cuba, and her whole service has been closely tied to revolutionary and Napoleonic wars. Being built as a triple-decker, she was always fulfilling the most important tasks. In the case of Spanish Navy, it was the protection of a convoys which were sailing mainly from West Indies. Since 15th century, Spain was somehow dependent on a gold and silver from South America, and thus those convoys were really important for well-being of Spain. But Principe de Asturias also fought two major battles. By my own considerations, those two battles are one of the major naval battles of revolutionary and Napoleonic wars. Battle of Cape Saint Vincent and the Battle of Trafalgar. So let's start with the Battle of Cape Saint Vincent. It had been an action fought between Mediterranean fleet of Royal Navy commanded by Admiral John Chervis and a Spanish Navy of the Admiral José de Cordoba y Ramos on the Valentine's Day of 1797. I think we covered this battle quite a few times, so here is just a short recapitulation. British fleet met the Spanish one off Cape St. Vincent on 14 January 1797. Spanish fleet was trying to protect the convoy, so they formed a line of battle ahead of it. The crack appeared in the Spanish line and a British one, led by HMS Victory, broke through it. The Spanish fleet had a chance to encircle the enemy's rear guard, and they took that chance. But before they were able to finish this maneuver, commander of the rear guard, Commodore Horatio Nelson, guessed their intentions, sailed straight into the Spanish vanguard, and caused chaos there. Then other ships followed him. So. Thanks to Nelson's maneuver, the Spanish fleet lost the actual battle. But the convoy made it safely to Spain. Sadly, I hadn't been able to find what exactly was Principe de Asturias doing during the battle, so I'm really sorry for that. So we would have to move on to the next battle Principe de Asturias took part in. And that's a battle of Trafalgar. Well, I feel like I spoke about Trafalgar even more than about the Battle of Cape St. Vincent, so now is a great time to cover what the Spanish part of the combined fleet was doing in a battle. Since Principe de Asturias was a flagship of Admiral Federico Gravina, and thus the whole Spanish part, we know about each of her moves in this battle. After some misunderstandings, Gravina's part of the fleet formed the rear, and during the battle it slowly doubled the center. Rear guard of the fleet had been broken through by column of Mediterranean Fleet of Royal Navy led by Admiral Collingwood. The breaking sparked chaos within the rear, and according to Rear Admiral Escaña, chief of the staff stationed on board Principe de Asturias, Nothing of other combats could have been seen from board of that ship due to the smoke. The fight was fierce and the Spanish fought until the end and even Principe de Asturias was severely damaged. After battle, she and another Spanish ship, Santa Ana, were towed to Cadiz by French frigate La Thames. It was also in Cadiz where Flag Admiral of Principe de Asturias, Federico Gravina, died as a consequence of being wounded at Trafalgar. The Battle of Trafalgar was the last major event Principe was part of. She was decommissioned in 1812, few times ordered to be sold, and finally wrecked off Havana in 1834. Well, that is a short description of eventful life of Principe de Asturias, the Spanish flagship from Trafalgar. Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful for you. And if you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time with a biography of another ship.